What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since I made my last one and today I just wanted to introduce you guys to this pretty cool UI library that I found a couple of hours ago. It's called Evergreen. It's a pretty solid UI library in my opinion. Um, it's made by the same guys that are behind the segment from Twilio, which is basically um, API collection data and stuff. Don't know too much about them, but um, looking at the components and looking at this library, it's fairly straightforward. It has a pretty cool ant design type of vibe to it, in my opinion. So if we just go ahead and just scroll down a little bit, we'll see language, and inside of here we'll see three sections. We have foundations, component, and patterns. Now this is what I really like about this library, is that it comes with its own icons, typography, layouts, and colors, which is fantastic to see. So if we go to the icon section, it shows exactly how to use it and you have a huge extensive list of icons to choose from which is very impressive to see from a smaller library like this and before we cover the components we're just going to go ahead and check out the patterns real quick and the patterns is pretty neat uh, patterns are reusable combinations of components that solve common user problems these best practice solutions help users achieve their goals and help ensure consistency across their app now unfortunately, as the making of this video, there's only one out of three of these that has been developed, and that's the empty states right here. So you can actually display like a skeleton if you wanted to render some data. And it's pretty neat that you can set it exactly like this, so you have consistently th consistency throughout your app. And um, for the other ones, they're just not available right now, and I hope to see them available soon. Alrighty, let's cover some of the components, shall we? So from a components standpoint, this is fairly similar to whatever you expect from Ant Design, Material UI, Mantine, any of the big boys out there. Uh, you have alerts, avatars, um, but you have some interesting things. You have combo boxes, you have file uploaders, file selectors, portal, pulsar. Pulsar is really interesting. Um, it's just like a pulsating area and you can define where you want it. So you can have it on top left, bottom right. A different size if you wanted but from a uh, in my opinion it's a pretty solid component section for this library and so the documentation for some of these components are very good well for most of the components they're very good so let's see we go into the spinner one we can see exactly what the spinner is and how to use it as a basic example we have the code on how to use it we can copy the code if you wanted and we can also open it up in a sandbox so we can see exactly how is being made and so the only real gripe that I have with this library and a lot of libraries nowadays is that there doesn't really seem to be a lot of creativity behind them it seems to be really minimalistic really bureaucratic if you know what I mean um, at least from an example standpoint they're very basic straight to the point and I sort of feel like the entire internet is sort of starting to get like tamed in a way of like you know having app bars here having this type of uh, fonts here to make it look a certain way for most websites um, that's just my own opinion I wish to see a lot more libraries do a great react rainbow components or even mantine does a little bit more with having a little bit of flair as well as having the same still type of feel of like a uh, consistency to it if that makes sense so like inside of react rainbow components you have color you have a different type of vibe than you would from, let's say, Ant Design or an Evergreen or Material UI out of the box. But that's just my own opinion. And that pretty much covers this library to a pretty high level. Um, try it out. The link to this is in the description down below. And let me know, what do you think about that? Do you think that a lot of uh, component libraries are becoming a lot more consistently the same? They have the same type of component patterns, same type of typography, same type of color. Or do you think they're all, they have their own unique flair that you as the end user have to customize? Yeah, provide your two cents down in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.